Yeah, uh, Clay Miles, uh, the young man that went off the cliff there, uh, was able to come out and uh, he, he had reached out to me and wanted to come and see the team and just have an opportunity to, to, you know, thank the guys and our training staff and everyone uh, and just kind of tell his story and what he's been experiencing in the last few weeks. So, a uh, pretty surreal moment there. You know, he, he's on a walker and all that and, and obviously he's lost a lot of weight. but. Just great to see him healthy and for him to be able to stand up and articulate in front of the crowd like that was, was uh, special. Is that a good life lesson before you let these guys go home? Yeah, I mean, you know, and that's, that's one of the things we use that with when it happened. And we'll talk more about it tomorrow in that, you know, just like that, things can happen. I mean, just like that. You can't look. You need to look left one more time, right? You know, I feel like, you know, my grandmother or something. <laughs> you know, 10 and 2 and look left three times, you know, just, you know, you just have to be cautious. And uh, that's one thing most young people are not, is cautious. But just like that, things can happen. So uh, definitely uh, uh, some clarity for those guys and for all of us. And just a reminder, first of all, how, how lucky we are uh, to have our health. And, uh, you know, just how, how precious a minute is, a day is, and, and how quick things can can turn on you. Has this team responded the way you wanted it to? Yeah, they have. I mean, today was a today was a tough day out here, and uh, you know, it's it ain't fun to lose. Uh, and, and again, we hadn't, we don't have we haven't had a lot of opportunity to lose. And I say opportunity because it is opportunity. Uh, you know, I've always lived my life that with you know, if 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 you never had any adversity. You win every game, you make every kick, you catch every pass, you get every ribbon, uh, you never lose, you never fail, uh, you never have adversity, then, then you kind of depend on yourself, you know? I've always looked at it as, you know, when you have adversity in your life, it, it, it makes you focus, depend on God, uh, and refocus on things that matter. That's how I've always lived my life, and, and you get better uh, if you're made of the right stuff. And uh, so, you know, we had, I mean, it's not like we've had some life-altering We just lost a ball game. But it is an opportunity to grow and, and to teach. And, you know, uh, sometimes you, you have a little bit more opportunity through a loss than you do through a win. And uh, so, especially with an open date, we, we got a lot of time. And uh, we've taken full advantage of it. Just a lot of work on Clemson, a lot of work on our, our personnel. And uh, even had a little live scrimmage work right here at the end today, and it was it was fun, unscripted, just put the ball down and let's play. So you know it's good, uh, but we've had a lot of a lot of uh, tough meetings and a lot of uh, uh, comments and things that I think is really healthy for the team. And you know tomorrow will be another good day, and then, and then I think it's it's I'm really glad to get a break. I'm glad the coaches get a break. You know just to kind of recharge and. And then let's see if we can charge back up the mountain. You know, we didn't get knocked off the mountain. You know, we had some safety gear, so we're still on it. But <laughs> we, we, we got to turn around and charge back up. Uh, not tiptoe, let's charge back up the mountain and see if we can see if we can just go win the next game somehow, some way, and, and uh, go from there. But, um, you know, they have responded, and hopefully they'll continue to as we move through the next few days. Injuries, everybody yeah. coming back pretty yeah. healthy. Yep, yeah. everybody's coming back pretty healthy. Marcus Edmond, do you think you'll be able to get him back for Tech? I hope so. I'm, I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic. He's doing the most this week that he's done, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna try to if he, if he can have another couple of good days and then some more time off this weekend, I think we're gonna really ramp it up next week and just kind of just see where he is. Um, I mean, he didn't break a bone, but he might as well broke a bone. I mean, he probably would have been just as easy to heal, but. But he is much, much, much better in the furthest he's been and closest he's been. So this has kind of been our target date for a while. We'll see no more next week. But uh, we're going to get him back you know, sooner than later at this point. Tech, Go ahead. Tech looks really good this season. I'm not sure you've had a, a bye week before playing them. Um, in fact, you had to play on short prep a couple of times, I know, on Thursday yeah. night. How, how nice is that to have that extra time for that? Uh, you know, it's, 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 it's nice whoever we were playing next. I mean, it's just good to – just for us, first of all, just we, we need to we need to we need to take care of Clemson. You know, I always tell we play Clemson every week, and, and uh, we need to take care of the things that we control. We got 120 yards of penalties. You know, I mean, we need to line up not in the neutral zone on third and seven. 
You know, I mean, we need to get our snap count correct so that our players aren't at a disadvantage. You know, there's there's a lot of things that we, we need to take advantage of time. And so uh, you know, we, some blitz pickup work and some technique and, and just just a lot of stuff. But it, it's uh, it's always good regardless of who you got. And obviously these guys, I mean, we play them every year. So I think that's a little different maybe for us than maybe some other teams. Uh, it doesn't freak us out anymore. Uh, they may kick our butt, but it's not because you know, we're freaked out by the option. Uh, we, we work it all year. We work, we practice in the spring. We work it in fall camp. I mean, because they're a rival, a crossover rival every single year. Uh, so I, we always have a little bit of a, a working knowledge. Um, biggest thing is I'm just glad we got a little time to get healthy. Uh, that's the main thing. But yeah, Texas Tech is really good. They're, they're honestly two plays away from being undefeated. I mean, it's, you watch the Tennessee game, I cannot believe they lost that game. It's unbelievable, but you turn it over and you give people short fields and, you know, for an opener game, you get beat, but they had like 600 and something, you know, I mean, it's unbelievable.